Dude, what is this? Game waiver agreement. Uh-huh. And then what's it say here? Webcam usage. This game uses webcam solely for the in-game purchases and all video and image time is collected. Storage has fit to any third-party webcam is intended for anti-gameplay experience. Simply agree to the terms. It's basically saying that, um, yeah, we, we don't sell your webcam data, guys. I, I mean, I hope that's true. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, webcam time. The horror game. A Romanian crime event that captivated a nation. Destroy I inspired by mystery and tension of real life cases and all characters, blah, 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 blah. Okay. By other than that, what's this game called again? I can't remember, bro. I already forgot the game's names. Oh, Psychopathy Assessment. By other than that, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know. I guess we'll see how the game is, but I don't know. This dev, I think the only a good game that this dev made was probably like Muzzy. That Mask of Horror game. That was pretty good, I guess, I suppose. By other than that, all the other games were pretty trash. But <laughs> I guess we'll see how this one is. The examination will now begin. Okay. Welcome to the psychopathy assessment. Here at F We're conducting this survey to provide you with an insightful evaluation. Please note that all data will be processed through our automated systems to deliver act to deliver accurate results. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind that this test is not a medically approved diagnosis. For a comprehensive and precise assessment, we recommend consulting with a psychiatrist. Before we proceed with the main test, we need to perform a personality check to filter and analyze your data effectively. Okay. We'll ask you a few questions, and based on your responses, you'll be assigned a personality type. Hey, alright. Yeah, I'll be like an absolute psycho, guys. Do you believe in God? Uh, I guess so, I guess so. We'll do that one. I ever felt like God was speaking through you through your nightmares. Yes. Here we go, guys. The psychopath. Do you believe you deserve punishment for your sins? Yes. You ever felt that your guilt is too heavy to bear? Yes, yes, yes. You think hell is God's punishment? Yes, yes, yes. Have you ever doubted God's intentions for you? Yes. Or a science for yes for everything. <laughs> I don't know. Do you believe God forgives those who don't repent? And <laughs> I guess, sure, why not? You think God asks for blind obedience? Yes, yes. Let's do everything, yes. Do you think free will is just illusion created by God? Free will is illusion? I don't think so. It's a test of our, like, I don't know, mental state or something. I don't know. <laughs> Every question in heaven is truly, is ever truly a reward? Uh, yes. If God loves you equally, yes, I'm sure he does. Or maybe except others. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, do you believe that God, the devil can disguise himself as God? Yes, yes, that's true, that's true. Yeah, he can. Have you ever questioned whether you would give up your life for God? Oh, I don't know, dude. Your personality type is 10. ISFJ, the defender. The defender. Kind hearted. hearted. Oh, dedicated, okay. Dedicated wow. and nurturing. They are loyal to their responsibilities and the people they care about. All right. Wow, I got the good, You'll be good undergoing one. another test of focus and attention. You'll be given a police interview, and you must stay focused and engaged throughout. Oh, boy. The interview is between Officer Thompson and then Mike Harris. For space on pause and pause the interview. So I get to do a good cop, bad cop. Back Paris at the police station reporting that his girlfriend's son mysterious disappearance. Officer Thompson is taking the statement, behaves in a nervously calm and suspicious manner, hinting that he may know more than what's going what he's laying on. Okay, okay. Alright, Mr. Paris, start for a top. You said your girlfriend is missing for how long now? It's been two days, she didn't come home, didn't call her text, it's not like her at all. Two days, huh? He leans back his chair, the spring forming his lips. Do why is this so fast? Why why is this a thing? I can't even read it. Sometimes he will just see some space like, you know, should it just, you know, take a break from things? Frustrated, Mike shakes his head. No, I don't get it. She disappeared without saying anything. Something's wrong, I can feel it, and you guys help me find her. Of course, we're here to help. I was scribbling something lazy in the notepad and even looking up. Okay, he's just scribbling. Did he ever talk about leaving? Maybe something personal going between you two that you didn't know about? Uh, it sounds casual and saying undertone, like he's steering a conversation. Oh, yes. No, we were fine. No fights, no problems. This isn't like her at all. He's tapped his fan as this. Arrow styling subtly as he studies his mic. You look surprise you, Mike. You think you know someone, and poof, they're gone. First, but that look in his eyes is cold. Trust me, these things happen more often than you think. That's your imagination, bro. It's getting agitated. Oh dang. 
Hey, listen to me, this is serious. She's missing. Oh, I was staying very closely. I look it up like he has with Mike. Mike, gazing literally a little too long. It's a pretty worry, huh? I mean, she not know where she is. What's happened to her? So I saw almost to a whisper. Oh, dang. Or who might have taken her? Ah, uh, yes, it was him. Oh, uh, Paris Fraser, the way Mr. Thompson said it, sent a chill down his spine. Uh, what do you mean by that? Do you know something? Oh, he knows too much. It's like, uh, what's it called? GTA RP or something, dude? Just blast him in the head. <laughs> uh, she so said, nah, I'm telling you, I'm just messing with him. I saw her smile, smile spreads across Thompson's face, but it doesn't reach his eyes. Just saying, my people don't fashion the thin air. Some, someone always knows something. He leans forward slightly, voice smooth, almost mocking. You ever think she maybe you're just paying enough attention? Damn, bro, he's roasting him, dude. Now what the hell? Gang, yeah, it's interesting. I did something to her. Now relax, just playing devil's advocate. After all, we're having a friendly conversation, right? You're worried, I get that, but sometimes he'll go missing for reasons we don't want to see. Talking in circles, man. Do you know where she is or not? So I figured out, Mike, piece by piece, but sometimes the truth, well, it hides in plain sight, doesn't it? Maybe you should be asking yourself what you missed. That's what I'm trying to say. If you know something, you better tell me. You yeah, just beat him up rude, bro. <laughs> We're here to help you, but be careful where you're pointing your finger. Sometimes the people close to you, that's what you seem, and sometimes. What's it? What's this conversation? They just feel for a reason. What do you mean by that? Dude, we're going around in circles. What, is, what, what are you talking about? He trembles, trembles, from chap of Mr. Thompson's scripted words. Like I said, Mike, figure this out, but don't worry, we'll find her one way or another. Okay. You focus on what's right in front of you. Okay. Mr. Paris' room, as you're at night. Oh boy, can you see it? Congratulations. You're Man, a member of the way through the test. In the next section, you'll need to distinguish between threats and non-threats and rank their severity level. Mm. You're doing an excellent job so far. I'm proud of you. I just watched something. <laughs> That's all I did. <laughs> Threat. I don't know. Latino man. <laughs> oh, great, dude. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, it depends on how you ask. If you're on the border... Oh, God, I'm, I'm going to stop, dude. All right, whatever. I can't make bad jokes. I can't make bad jokes, dude. It's a fellow Mestizo myself. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I guess it's a zero. Uh, hey, what is that back there? What is this? Oh, a gun. Are you talking about the guy or the person in the background? Woman, I guess. Yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, gosh, man. Officer Thompson. Oh, yeah, definitely 10,000%, dude. The woman in him. The red. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a ten, bro. That's a ten. That's definitely ten. I don't care for evil or not, bro. That's definitely a ten, bro. Uh, him. Okay. What the hell is that, dude? What the hell, dude? How spooky. Yeah, it's Mr. Thompson, guys. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, terrifying. I can't see it, so it's a 10. Okay, we have the dev here just like... You're the threat? Damn, bro. Don't trust, don't trust your eyes, they lie to you? Okay. Threat recognition score, 79%, alright. Amazing, dang, got an amazing performance, guys. Congratulations. We have six more questions for you to help determine your level of psychopathy. Please keep in mind that our test is not medically approved. However, the data and percentages are derived from various databases. Did you ever destroy something beautiful just to see it break? Uh, yes, I guess, I guess, yes, yes. Have you ever thought about if you're take someone's life? What the hell, dude? Hey, let's go, let's go full out here, guys. Have you ever thought to feel no regret for taking someone's trust? Damn, bro, let's go, yeah, let's go all out, all out. If you wonder what it would be like 
Someone's like this before your eyes, bro. What the hell is this? We're going all out, dude. We push someone to their breaking point just for your own satisfaction? Damn, wait, there's, a, there's achievements for this? I don't know, there's a bunch of other stuff going on here. I don't want to spoil the story. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Psychopathy score. Oh, 67%? You're a psychopath. Dang. How, how do you know? <laughs> uh, great. Completed. All right, we did it. Center redacted. You'll see the documents. Oh, 45 minutes. Oh, 45 hours. Holy moly, guys. We did it. All right. All right. Dang, what a nice game. Now we get to play the actual game now, guys. <laughs> oh, what, is, what was this crap? This psychopathy test was beyond messed up. Is this chicken? What the hell, dude? My time was wasted. Screw it. Tonight I'm diving back into the reality to test out my new hobby. Skinning people? I don't know, dude. Before I leave, I must finish eating. Okay. I gotta eat the chicken nuggies, guys. Chicken bucket. Yep, let's eat this chicken beside my bed, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Turn it down a little bit here, because it's a bit loud. Can't leave now. Why not? I said the chicken, bro. Not the soda. Oh. Had to do that too, okay. Oh, better than an empty stomach. Choo choo choo. Hey, hey. I need to start eating healthier. Choo choo choo. Oh, what's this, bro? What the hell? Why is there blood in here, bro? This guy actually a psychopath? Door open? I should just blood here, dude. Was that a cat? What's up with the cat? Oh, what the hell, bro? Pet your cat in the home? Now look at this bozo, homie. What the hell? It's cursed as hell, homie. There's some TV? Boop, boop. No? Can't leave. Check this later. What the hell am I doing, dude? Going upstairs. Well, it's like half the house, like, separated. In the upstairs area. I don't know. What was our task again? Do you guys remember our task? I don't know. I remember this guy saying he needs to start eating healthier, and that's all I remember. Holy crap. I have to go to the toilet urgently. Oh no! I'm about to blow. <laughs> uh, toilet. Yep. Press space to crap. Damn, bro. Damn. I have to wash my hands before I touch anything. Before I touch anything. Yeah, we touched the cat. <laughs> okay, can I actually? Why am I doing it standing up, dude? This is something I used to do in like elementary school, bro. <laughs> there we go. Then wash our hands. I've been like public bathrooms, bro. Person next stall next to me taking a dookie man and then they just like walk out without washing their hands. It's like what the hell, dude? I found feel liberated. Ha ha ha. Bought this blood down here. I can't shake this thought. Oh what? Or I speak alone. I don't know. That's true, that's true. I do it sometimes too. You're never alone. We're always here with you. Okay. <laughs> Not losing my mind, alright? You're perfectly fine. Don't be afraid. Oh! <laughs> my mind! Leave me alone! Can't help me, please. <laughs> oh, got a phone call. Uh, hello, Thompson. Thompson, it's done. No one's asking questions yet. <clears throat> Wait, what? Wasn't the dialogue for the interview like this? It's, this is a lot. I got to know what exactly you're planning to do with Jane. And it's, it's going a lot better in this one than like the, the interview thing. Oh, don't you worry, officer. Wait, what? 
I got it all figured out. She's in a nice quiet place where she won't be running off to Paris anymore. Wait, what? Is actually real? <laughs> no more late night meetings behind my back. You're always so jealous type, but this, no. I didn't think you had it in you. What's even going on? I'm not just going to keep her tied up. That's too easy. She needs to feel what she's done. Just make sure this doesn't lead back to us. Dang, so apparently I knew the cop. Paris has been asking around. He's getting suspicious. So I'm like a killer dude? Part of this like group? I'll not worry about Mike. I'll deal with him soon enough. Oh, so it wasn't Thompson. It was us. Now what the hell, dude? Master Jane, well, I've got a few games in mind. Let's just say she won't know what's real anymore. By the time I'm done, she'll be begging me to stop, or maybe finish it. You're stuck, but you're sick, but I respect it. Just don't drag me into any deeper than I am, alright? A cardio is far, but there are limits. Very cross those limits, Thompson. We're going all out. We're doing a sacrifice to save her. I don't know. We're both in this together. You keep covering me, and everything stays quiet. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Damn, bro. Truly the alpha here. Uh, good. Now I got gotta go. Jean's waiting for me, and she's going to learn the hard way that no one betrays me. This night, this game will start. Be careful. Yep. I'm tired early. I have to sleep early. This night will be long and fun. I guess where she's like down there or something. I gotta sleep with my computer on. Okay. There we go. We'll sleep with the lights on. Yeah, whatever. The following events contain strong emotional content. When's this web webcam thing pop up, though? It's 2 a.m. Almost to 3 a.m. You know, like the 3 a.m. challenges, guys. All right. I got a phone call. Oh boy, who's calling me at 3 a.m.? Oh no, it's just uh. Okay, it's just the the uh, alarm. Uh, what a day! What a day! Not now. Not now. Put her upstairs? Man, what the hell, dude? Talk with Jane? You're awake. Good. I was starting to worry. How are you feeling? Oh, we got like a bunch of other stuff in here, man. Oh, wait. You're trapped. Give me a second. Or you're, you're taped, I mean. You're pulled the katana, dude. I don't know. Please, what is this? Do us, what, what's this game going into? I don't want this. Just let me go. I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't need to be scared, so scared. I didn't bring you here just to hurt you. Well, just, I need to talk. Doc, you tied me up. This this isn't you. I don't understand. It's me, Jane. You just never took the time to see it. I meant nothing but good to you. I haven't died, but lately you've been distant, distracted. Oh dang, it was Mike, guys. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this thing. Things to get so complicated. Please, just let me go. We can work this out, I promise. Oh, I know, you're so, so you're sorry. But you see, it's not that simple anymore. You made a choice, Jane. You thought you could hide it. Thought you, I wouldn't notice. Sneaking off with Mike. Dang, I knew it, guys. Holy moly. No, no, no. It wasn't like that. We were just... Friends, lovers doesn't matter now. You lie, Jane. And lies, well, they have consequences. Well, alright. Uh... 
are you going to doing? Please assist talk. Like you said, we can fix this. I can. I'll do anything, just please. Fix? Mm, that's an interesting word. You know, I've always been good with my hands. I always like fixing things, making them better. No, please. You don't have to do this. I'm begging you, please. I'll never see him again. Our Janus isn't about Mike anymore. It's about us, about making things right between us. Is he behind us? Oh, it's just a wooden board. Okay. I can help you. I understand what you've done. Or, yeah, maybe some good music would ease the tension. Can I actually get up on this table? Oh, see, look, right, right, right here. There's all that. Oh, there we go. Perfect for this game. We'll play. Or maybe I'm prepared too old for playing games. Sometimes I feel like a child, even though I'm 30. That makes me feel alive. Hi, 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 hi. Wait, what? Or it's like, uh, what was the thing? <laughs> you see, Jane, you broke something. Something important. And not to fix it. Don't worry, I'll be gentle at first. After all, we we'll want to rush things, wouldn't we? You should have been more careful with my heart, Jane. Damn, bro. Now it's my turn to be careful with you. Dang, now I have to choose. Okay, we're going power drill first. Damn, bro. Insert in the head. What the hell? Are they even drilling? I don't know. I'm getting closer. Man, this game's going all out, bro. I don't know if I can show this fucking. I'll probably get demonetized or whatever. Oh, okay. Damn, bro. It's over now. You did so well, Jane. I'm proud of you. Dang, homie. I know it hurts, but the pain is just part of the process. I think she's dead, bro. I like to say, no pain, no gain, alright? I don't want to be like this, you know. I really didn't. But you left me no choice. I had to show you. I had to make you see what you've done to me. Damn, bro. This guy's like, going all out, bro. I was just wondering where you were, who you were with. I guess. Sister and spirit? Oh, it is. No. I couldn't sleep, couldn't think. We feel so small, so helpless. And now, well, you understand, don't you? I think she's dead, bro. This is what betrayal feels like. This is what you did to me. But worse. Because your lies, they were like little drills, eating away at me, bit by bit. You don't have to be afraid anymore. You've been punished, and I've forgiven you. Jane, I'm sorry, dear. I can't even look at you anymore. I'll have to dispose your body somewhere. Let's check the tool table and see what I can do. Damn, we're going all out, bro. Fire axe. Oh. Okay. Sloppy job, not gonna lie. Put our parts in the bag. This game's going all out, bro. Like, it must be the killer instead of uh, the other way around, right? For most of them. Oh, I just do that? Okay. Better than picking up one by one, I guess. Okay, there we go. I did it. It's 5 a.m. Wait, how do we get caught by the cops, though? I don't get it. I saw an achievement for. Okay, whatever. I'm spoiling the story. <laughs> or maybe just like an ending. I don't know. I didn't see everything. Wait, what? Oh, I get to drive. Switch cameras. Oh boy. Good. 
Duh, duh. Damn, got the all-wheel drive. Home. What the hell? Our invisible driver too. Holy moly! Let's find our perfect places to get rid of her. See it? Even see it under the map. It's lucky that police didn't stop me during this drive. Guys, I can't get up the hill. This thing, this thing doesn't have enough power. Let's go all out. Then check it out. Check out this truck, guys. This could be in a commercial. And why are we playing like some Arab music, bro? <laughs> like we're in like goddamn Saudi Arabia or something, dude. Right? Yeah, the dev didn't give this truck enough power. Can't believe they didn't cover for this. You punished me, didn't you, Jane? I tried to be understanding. I really did. But I should have known to better than to think that you could play with my heart and not face the consequences. You should feel honored, you know. Most people just vanish by giving you a proper goodbye. So I have you to rest. No more lies, no more running around. Just peace. What is down there? Is that like the, the moon or something? Well, off we go guys, as I can see into the void below me. And again, how much is this game again? I can't remember. It was it was cheap. So everything's not gonna be exactly polished, you know guys? Where am I even going? I'm just I've just been following the road. Listening to like some air music bro or something, dude. If I'm just going around in a circle, I don't know. Oh shoot, I lost my momentum. Yeah, we need to back up, we need to back up, we need to come up to this again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drive the car after the crime, the graveyard, oh. Jeez, why can't I do it before? I had to crash into a car, er, into a tree to finally get to do this. Finally here, after so long. What's that? We get the sack and the shovel from the trunk. What's this? Great, now let's find a good spot to bury this. Oh. I chose in the cemetery. Who would suspect that I buried her, her next two other dead bodies? Choo choo choo. So where the graveyard at? Oh, here we go. All right, in the middle. Oh, it's the police. Thompson, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> I could ask you the same thing. Why is he so blacky though? I didn't mean this. Do you know what kind of mess you've dragged us into? Oh, he's gonna shoot me now. Dang. And no choice, I had to finish it. She was becoming a liability. I did what I had to do. She was going to ruin everything. You're burying her in the middle of the goddamn forest for crying out loud. Did you think that no one would find out? You promised me, Thompson. You said that you'd take care of it. We're in this together, remember? Yeah, I did say that, but you crossed the line. You have to be serious, after everything I've done for you, all those favors. It's going off the bush in the background, you guys see that? It's not about favors anymore, it's about survival. You become a liability more than she ever was. You can't do this, you know what happens if I go down. I'll take you with me. I'll tell them everything. Hey, what? How? If he's dead. And who do you think it's, they're gonna believe? A decorated officer or a psychopath cop burying a body? Ah, oh, true, 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 man. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you lost. And the sooner you realize that, the better. Here, let me go for the gun, guys. You bastard. You can't do this to me. We had a deal. The deal's off. You pushed too far. And now I've got no choice. And it's not the oblivious, guys. 
it's you or me and I'm going down because you couldn't keep your head straight. Yeah, that's true, that's true, man. Oh, okay. Last night, authorities arrested a man in connection with the brutal murder of 20-year-old Jane Miller, whose body was discovered in a remote forest. The suspect, Jane's boyfriend, was caught by Officer Thomas Thompson while attempting to bury her. Investigators believe the murder was triggered by a confrontation over Jane's affair with another man. Disturbingly, Officer Thompson, who made the arrest, is now under scrutiny for allegedly covering up the suspect's earlier crimes. Mm -hmm. While he ultimately detained the suspect, an internal investigation is underway regarding Thompson's potential corruption. Jane, a beloved local artist, suffered horrific torture before her death, with a power drill believed to have been used in the attack. The suspect is being held without bail and a trial is expected to follow soon. Our town is left in shock as we mourn Jane's tragic death and await justice. Courtroom. Dang, we're going all out, guys. I thought he was going to shoot us in the head and then, you know, hush hush, you know, hush hush, you know. <laughs> About it, but nah, dude. Actually, like, um, guys. Oh, after careful deliberation, it's abundantly clear that your actions were premeditated, brutal, and without any regard for human life. Well, look at the courtroom. Judge David and presented leaves no room for doubt. Your intent was not only to murder Jane Miller, but to inflict unimaginable suffering upon her. We had every opportunity to stop, to seek help, but instead, you chose a path of violence driven by hatred and jealousy. This court could not overlook the severity of your crime, nor our danger you posed to society if left unpunished. Your attempts to cover up your heinous act only further demonstrate your lack of remorse and your disregard for the law. Who's yelling, dude? Therefore, it is the decision of the court that you be sentenced to death by electrical chair. Dang, bro. <laughs> El bozo. Alright, here we go. May this sentence reflect your great gravity of your actions and serve as justice for life of you cr the life you so cruelly took. You will be transferred to death row, where you await your execution in accordance with this stated law. Damn, bro, the electric chair, like it's 1902, man. Uh, this is the final judgment of the court. May you reflect on your own sins in the time you have left. Is this guy beside me? Is he my lawyer, dude? Or someone? I don't know. Court is adjourned. Or is that me over there? I don't know. Oh, damn. Who am I? Oh, I'm in electric chair. Please. You got the wrong man. I didn't do it. Wait, what? <laughs> you don't understand. I was set up. Thompson, he knows. He knows the truth. I swear, I didn't kill her. I never hurt anyone in my life. Wait, what? I am just imagining things. Please, you got to believe me. This isn't how it's supposed to be end. They're out there. Real killers. Thompson, he's covering it up. Don't the switch. I miss it. You're killing an innocent man. Three. Oh, here we go. Two. One. Oh. turn of events, justice has been served in the brutal murder of Jane Miller, a case that has rocked our community. The man responsible for her death was finally apprehended and has been sentenced to death for his heinous crimes. The arrest was made... What the hell am I? I'm in this guy's house, dude? Yeah, what the hell? Or is this my house? I don't know. Who caught the suspect Hello, Katie. while attempting to bury Miller's body. Thompson, it's done, right? Mike's caught? Charged and stood trial, where the overwhelming you better believe it. To his guilt. What's going on? I don't get it now. Perez took the chair like a real stiff. Perez? Oh! What the hell? You're clear. So I can't believe you pulled it off. Wait, I don't know what happened. The whole world thinks he's the killer. And me? I'm free. Oh wait, they forced him. Oh, they forced him to bury the body. That's right, covered every loose end. Every bit of the dirt. Wait, how do you know it was... I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, I know, but man. The scare you gave me in the forest... 
Ah, uh, funny, I thought you were actually gonna betray me. It got to be right there. Betray you? Come on, man. You know I've always got your back. But watching you, your face when I pulled up, priceless. Yeah, well, for a second there, I thought it was over. I've been thinking you're turning me in. That wasn't part of the plan. I had to sell it, didn't I? If anyone was watching, they needed to believe I was doing my job. That made to freak you out too much. You did. Next time, keep the jokes to yourself. I wasn't sure if I'd end up in that chair too. Nah, no, you're in the clear now, Mike. Took the fall. Like I said, you're safe. Good. Let's keep keep that way. No more close calls. No more surprises. Not deal, but remember, you still owe me. I'll call in that favor when I need it. Dang, the plot twist. Uh, Alright, yeah, yeah, I know. Okie dokie. Look at this goddamn cat, bro. What the hell? A game by Solo Dev. Oh, okay. Well, that's the game, guys. <laughs> well, then. Interesting game, I guess. Quite the, um... Oh, I got 100% achievements. Okay, very cool. But, um, yeah, interesting game, I guess. It was pretty... You know, I... I, I I'll say this, though. You know, I mean, this is one of the devs' good games, I guess. It was alright. I liked it. Played on my stream a bit concerning. I thought it might be bad. Well, seeing where it killed a hostage. Uh, the game and screen for by State, but I was sent to the part covered in mosaic event, so I ended up not being a problem. Mosaic, blur, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much psychopathy assessment. It was an alright game. I'll give it that. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, it was like 4.49 on sale right now. What else are people saying about it? They're saying it's good. Okay. But yeah, this this devs other games do do to trash. I'm I'm a little here. Muzzy was all right. Um, left to rot. That that was uh, I'm that was bad. It was bad. The whole camera thing and stuff like that. I don't know. Just the way the thing was, and then the text in that game would go by so fast. It's like it's like bro, I I can't read what's going on, and then I get killed by the woman. And I have to start the game all the way from the beginning just to play it. And then this one was like what. I am are not there. They're missing. They're not spawning in. <laughs> and then this game was all like, I don't know. I guess the game was all, it, it was okay. It wasn't the best. And then I bought that second game. And that game was basically just the first game reskinned as a second game. <laughs> and there's nothing else going on in this game, dude. Besides, like, there's nothing new. And the trailer for this game, dude, the dev like had a bunch of like these other like lady, creepy women or something like. If, I don't know if you want to call them that, monsters or whatever. There's like three of them, but in the game, the final game, there's only one. And you're doing the same thing as the first game. <laughs> and Jesus Christ, but yeah. I guess this game was alright. I mean, hopefully it actually does good games, but still, dude. Yeah. Oh well, I guess that's pretty much the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more. And yeah, it's half free to go. Alright, uh, bye.